Anurag Kataria, Vice President and Business Head, ITI Investor Services, now joins us in Mumbai. Anurag, hi, welcome to the show. Uh, before we go to Agri, let's talk about non-Agri first. And today has been actually a good day for gold prices, holding around 15.20 in the international markets. Euro terms have seen record highs. How do you want to trade in gold now? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the way we have been saying uh, for past several weeks that uh, gold we are still comfortable going long because the fundamental factors are supporting. Last week we have seen the data coming in from China wherein we have seen an unexpected growth in terms of physical consumption is concerned. Again, Shanghai Exchange is, uh, you know, uh, proposing to launch an ETF that will be an again uh, very good, uh, uh, you know, retail kind of investment coming in from a larger volume perspective. As far as dollar terms, we are looking at an immediate uh, uh, support of around 15, 15 dollars. Our long term or a medium term uh, support remains at $1490 which is a cru crucial support. So from here onwards we are looking at a, a, a bit of small resistance of uh, around $1529. If we have passed that I think we are looking at a, a gold for a much, uh, much bigger rally of $1560 to $1570. F uh, from current level also we are, we are still bullish on gold and we will continue to hold long positions as far as gold is concerned. Yeah. Anurag, the same stance is not seen in silver. Silver really seems to be following gold right now and with really low enthusiasm. How would you trade that one? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, silver has basically gotten into a certain kind of a tricky zone uh, if you look at it uh, from a technical perspective uh, because 3193 uh, dollar terms uh, remains a, a long term support and we think that uh, at least uh, some kind of basis is formed there. Uh, uh, beyond that we are looking at a trading zone of around 3350 dollars to initiate long positions uh, and immediate resistance of around 36.61 dollars uh, on dollar terms uh, would be a great resistance. So this would be a trading zone uh, we are looking for silver for next couple of weeks at least. Anurag, how about crude prices? Because of course there's this OPEC meeting to look forward to, but after yesterday's decline, we saw crude at 97, right now it's trading at 99. This $2-$3 off a move every day, how are you looking at it and would you be cautious really? Yeah, absolutely. We would be cautious trading uh, crude because, you know, the kind of news flow coming in, uh, one hand you have uh, most of the supply side being taken care of uh, coming in uh, from independent sources as far as OPEC constituents, uh, nations are concerned. And as far as uh, technically, if you look at it, crude, uh, I think $97 uh, seems to be holding on. And, and again, it's into a trading zone of 2 two and a half dollars swing. Other way, it's not going to make, make much of the difference. So we would like to be on the, on the, on the paternal trade when we would still uh, suggest going long with a cautious view as you have suggested with a strict stop loss of around $98 on, on rupee terms we are looking at a stop loss of around 4437 and a, and a, and a, a long position initiated at 4450 for a target of 4500 to 4550. Sure. One last question and this one on agro, uh, Anurag. Soybean prices have been quite choppy in the recent days, some support coming in, but how do you look at the international trends and would you say that palm oil or even crude for that matter could be giving some support right now? Yeah, absolutely. Looking at uh, US scenario, the, the hurricane season is back uh, with a bang as far as US is concerned and, and uh, Mississippi floods, we are all aware. Uh, for last two uh, data which USDA has uh, given as far as soybean is concerned, which are below five-year average as far as plantation is concerned, around 41% plantation still has been done. We have seen China importing uh, soybean uh, in a, in a, in a uh, greater quantity. So we are still uh, very much bullish on uh, soybean at least for a couple of trading sessions or probably two to three weeks if you, uh, if you could say. Uh, we would initiate a buy at, uh, on rupee terms around on NCDX uh, 3555 with a stop loss of 2330 uh, uh, for a target of around 2400 to 2420. All right, I'm going to let you go at that. Thank you so much for joining us, giving us your view. So that's the view coming in from ITI. They advise you buy in gold, silver, crude and soybean as well for the very near term.